and it says that uh, he jumped from 71,581 feet. Looks like he's in space, but he's not. He's in a space suit. Uh, they're saying the record is 19.5 miles, uh, but they're arguing uh, that uh, others may have actually done it from higher, just not properly documented it. Talk about adventurous. Then you got the woman who reportedly committed suicide with a chainsaw. Uh, uh, maybe that's like an Arkansas. Maybe somebody did it and they made her leave a note before they did it. Who knows? I mean, there's just so much crazy stuff going on. Uh, right now, let's start going to your phone calls for the next 30, 40 minutes before a congressman joins us. Uh, Brandon in Canada, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, good morning, Alex. Hi. Um, yeah, going back to this Coney 2012 thing, I just had an idea. What if someone made a film in the same style, but like have it like Bush Cheney 2012 or something like that? You know, I actually thought of that. I actually thought of that, and, and that would really get people's attention. Bush Cheney 2012. And then it would connect people's mind to, hey, here's the real war crimes. Here's what they did. Or or uh, Clinton, Clinton 2012, because the Clintons did a bunch of mass murder in the 90s as well. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I, uh, no that's a great idea. And, uh, you know, you could have like a little boy looking at pictures of Bush and Cheney and saying, this is a bad man. <laughs> Well, I've said that's what propaganda has come down to now. Is just like, there's the bad man, get him. But again, I wouldn't have just focused on this charity the last week off and on. If it was just about the charity, you know, being uh, a, a, a scam from my research and in my view. I've been focused on this because it is the opening salvo for a bunch of PR. From the UN calling for invasions humanitarily, George Clooney getting arrested, uh, Angelina Jolie at the UN pushing for it. I mean, I told folks, watch, this is going to launch a big PR drive, and it's just begun. I mean, it's everywhere now. Send troops to Africa. We demand it. Look, another thing, too, Alex, is I was thinking about you being the tip of the spear and your network. I mean, like, you know, guys like George Nury, Jesse Ventura, and Jess Ventura, all these guys. I mean, uh, what if you created a forum where all you men and women got together? Where you couldn't be, like, not listened to, you know, undeniably a voice. Well, you and know, you people like George Norrie and, and Jesse Ventura and Ron Paul and others, they're all real independent. And they understand that a lot of times when people just try to get organized, have like a conference or something, uh, everybody feels really important and there's resolutions passed. And then people say, okay, we're going to move forward in this way. And nothing really comes out of it. What's better is just for all of us to attack in different directions, but in the same directions as well against tyranny. And the general fight is happening and ongoing right now. I mean, notice how the globalists now are going out and launching PR to attack things, but making it look like it's coming from the grassroots, see? The system's already lost credibility. So they're going to now try to pose as, oh, the grassroots wants war. Oh, the peace groups want it. George Clooney wants it. Well, then, that's... But the White House documents are there with Samantha Powers and others saying three years ago this would be their model to launch all the new wars. And that's what they've done. Have the left call for it. We are now into our number two. And coming up uh, reportedly in about 35 minutes or so, we're going to have a congressman pop in with some breaking news for us. Uh, then we're going to have... A Ugandan woman on whose one video has been watched more than three million times exposing uh, that Coney 2012 and this whole call for an invasion over there is not what the population has been wanting. There have been riots and stonings and people doing all sorts of stuff over there when they see the film because it's just complete bull uh, watching trendies hop around and act like they're saviors uh, calling for invasion forces. Uh, so that's all coming up. Also, uh, we've got a lot of economic news on the inflation front and on the government health care front and the Iran front. But right now, let's go to your phone calls. Bryce in Missouri, you're on the air. Welcome. Uh, thanks, Alex, for taking my call. Uh, I really appreciate what you folks are doing. And uh, we're all in this uh, info war together and stuff like that. Uh, although I can get discouraged because I put out a movie about a month ago. Uh, I won't name names because I respect your show and everything like that. But but no traction got on it. And then you got this globalist uh, funded movie uh, that comes out and millions and millions of people see it. And, and I just pray and ask God to 
to what's going on here? What's wrong with this pitcher? Uh, what's your take on that? I mean, specifically, what's wrong with what pitcher? Well, the, 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 same, the same idea is we're all in this together fighting the info war. So you put out a movie on YouTube and you don't get as much traction as, let's say, you know, Coney 2012 or, or whatever. What, what, I mean, what can we do to kind of just up the ante, up the, up the uh, I guess, the hits on the video or something? How can, how can I get my message across? All right. I, look, I appreciate your call. Um, let's just take YouTube alone as one venue we reach people through. Conservatively, conservatively now, because I've gone back and actually added it up, in the last three years or so, we've had about 500 million views conservatively one way or another on YouTube. 500 million. Something like Coney that has big foundations behind it and George W. Bush and Bill Gates and Zbigniew Brzezinski and the National Security Council and the White House and the Carter Center and the Open Society Foundation and the International Coalition for Responsibility to Protect, all these groups, they launch something and push it for a year and then release it and then have thousands of newspapers and hundreds of TV systems under their control promote it. And all it gets is, I don't know, all versions together, maybe over 100 million views. And then there are tens of thousands of videos with hundreds of thousands, hundreds of videos with over a million views. If you put all my county videos I did together, probably 3 million views the last week. But then I saw hundreds and hundreds of other people put out videos and then people from Uganda come out and respond to my videos and their videos got hundreds of thousands and millions and you name it. And so you add it together, we, they had to shut down comments on the video. They had to back off. They're having to respond now. And then mainstream media even picked it up and said, yeah, this is a, this is a distortion. So I think we absolutely kicked their butt. I mean, they had to fake a grassroots campaign just to get the viral spread they did get. And so I don't know how people always take everything as a loss when it's a win. I mean, we've had a big win on this. And now they got Clooney getting arrested. Now they got Angelina Jolie at the court doing stunts. They're, they're, they're doing their big rollout for new wars, calling it liberal, war is peace. And we're countering it. And, you know, it took six months for Obama to go negative in the polls when he had a 90% approval rating or higher. I mean, th th these guys are wearing out quick now. As you know, there has been a near total blackout in the last week and a half on the fact that impeachment proceedings have begun in the House and Senate uh, via the treason of Obama announcing our military is under UN command. And now, of course, the Marines aren't allowed to have their guns around the Secretary of Defense because they can't be trusted. This is the bizarro world we live in under the new world order. Now, coming up, we have a congressman, a surprise visit, popping in uh, to speak about some very important news. And we have some other guests as well. But right now, I am going to your phone calls. I first want to mention this little article by Paul Joseph Watson. And uh, this story has been picked up uh, by the Drudge Report, drudgereport.com, I should add. They're on the right-hand side. Now, before I get to this also, uh, that was breaking here yesterday. Uh, I had uh, been told about a week ago by Liberty Guard folks I talked to that they were planning to file suit. And so I said, well, please come on when you file suit. And so I, I guess Bob Barr announced yesterday that he, he Liberty Guard was filing suit against the TSA, and that got picked up by the Wall Street Journal, Market Watch, and some other outfits. And they've confirmed that Matt Drudge and Alex Jones are in government documents. They've admitted that the... Uh, the total sexual assault group, uh, the, the TSA, or the Toilet Safety Administration, as South Park calls them, but I like total sexual assault, that's what it is, uh, has our names and websites in a database. When they did that national stand down of the scanners on National Opt-Out Day, you know, to say no to the scanners. And so for a year and a half, they've been trying to get those documents. The government has admitted that indeed, those names are involved in secret communiques. Uh, Matt Drudge, Alex Jones, you name it. But they will not release the nine pages. They release some of it, but it's redacted. So Bob Barr has filed suit on them. 
I want to find out what they're saying about me. I mean, I'm really honored to be on the White House enemies list. And I'm really honored to be on a TSA enemies list, but I want to know what they're saying about me. I mean, I love it that I'm in the WikiLeaks with Stratfor attacking me, calling me crazy, because I didn't believe that whole Bin Laden fairy tale. But then they go on to say they don't believe he was thrown in the ocean. Well, what? You're supposed to just believe whatever Obama tells you. I, I, I thought I'm a crazy man. I mean, I like it when I know we're getting under their skin. Last year when I exposed, because it was in their own documents, they want to shut down power plants to double profits for GE and others because they're allowed to stay open. I was excited when uh, the White House spokesman, Jay Carney, came out and said we were crazy. I mean, that is, that is exciting and to really know you're having an effect you know why folks always say, please just give me your John Hancock, you know, when you're at the bank taking out a loan or they want you to sign a credit card receipt or at a hotel. Give me your John Hancock, please. That was kind of an old saying back when folks knew U.S. history. John Hancock, everybody signing that Declaration of Independence was signing a warrant that they would be arrested, killed, attacked if they didn't win against an empire who'd never been defeated. And some of the signatures are pretty small on there. John Hancock went, bam, baby. And they said, why'd you sign it so big? And he said, I want to be on the list and at the top of every list. Exactly. If you're going to go into a fight, you better go into it 110%. Because I'm doing the best I can. I love liberty. I just want to be free. I don't do all this because I want to be some goody two-shoes and I'm a bleeding heart and I want everybody to think I'm good. No, I. it's, it's so important. I want to make this point again. We're not fighting tyranny because we're heroes. We're fighting it because I don't want to be a slave. It's selfishness. I want to explain that to people. Selfishness. I want my children to be free. I want you to be free. I don't like scum getting it over on me. You ever had your house robbed? Growing up in Dallas, we got robbed, I don't know, five, six times. It's not just that they get grandpa's gun, or it's not just that they steal the electricity glow ball, remember those in the 80s? It's not just they steal, you know, my dad's favorite turntable. It's that somebody broke in your house. You know, the biggest insult is to go into the refrigerator and they drink your beer or your Coca-Cola, you know. Like, look at this. They even took the beer. Uncool. You know, it's, it's, it's the violation. People are like, hey, you know, toughen up. Let the TSA grab your genitals. Yo, yo, get tough. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, well, how about I just go in the parking lot, the TSA person? Get tough. I'm going to grab yours. It's a violation. There's a reason anybody else grabs your genitals in a park, they can get five years in prison for it. Man, that's a big no-no. It's not get tough. It's like more like get out of my face, pervs. Stop trying to teach me and my children that weirdos are going to grab their rear end. I mean, folks, they don't just pat your rear end. You, know, you see the police frisk, you know, if they find drugs or guns and they want to check. Okay, you know, bam, bam, you know, they're actually, you know, checking for things. Not, well, let me really, let me see what those are. Come on. All right, I'm done ranting. I, I got to go to your calls. Shut up, Jones, and go to the calls. John in Texas, you're on the air. Welcome. Hi, Alex. <clears throat> hey, buddy. You know, you talked about inflation a little bit. Uh, about a year ago, I was buying ground turkey for 99 cents a roll. And uh, a few months ago, it was up to 265, and the last time I looked, it was like three times 319 now. 